One of the biggest things, you know, in my career that I think really got me going was the fact that I, I started in the city of London, Ontario, Canada. And, you know, just the, the, the people there really got behind me, you know. At age 18, I opened up Team Tompkins. For more than a decade, Sean Tompkins has been a staple in the Canadian MMA scene. Originally training with former UFC heavyweight champion Boss Rutten, Tompkins would blaze a new trail by becoming one of the sport's highly sought trainers. I think one of the things that made me um, successful what I do at an earlier sp part of the sport was Boss Rutten. You know, a lot of people know that there's a connection there. You know, he's been a, like a father to me in the sport um, and in my life. And, you know, he just really got me to open my mind and realize there was so much more to the sport than just being able to strike and not get taken down, you know. And, and it, it, in this, I've been able to work with some great guys that have, that have helped me bring that side of it along. Known for his infectious smile, the Team Tompkins leader would help mold his young athletes into great warriors and in the process help elevate the interest in what is now considered one of the fastest growing sports in the world. I want people to understand that there's a very technical aspect of what we do. You know, it's not just about being tough or being aggressive. You know, there's, there's a lot of time and, and a big process that goes into becoming a great fighter. And I also really want people to realize that you don't have to go to a mixed martial arts school just to be a fighter. You can go there to get in great shape. You can go there to, to feel better about yourself and, and to work on your self-defense. You know, it, it's about enjoying the sport and, and getting a taste and, and actually get your hands on what it really is. Whether it was working with athletes looking to make their professional debut or cornering some of the sport's biggest names, Tompkins displayed an immeasurable passion for the art and the artists involved. Growing up in Hawaii, we hear about him, you know, he was Couture's, one of Couture's head trainers, and here I am, you know, a young boy getting the chance to oh. train with a, like a legend coach to me. Sean has definitely solidified me being part of Team Tompkins, and I'm happy because now I have another home. Oh, he's had it a whole lot, you know, he, he's brought my game together, like, he's brought all my game together, you know, uh, I mean, before I used to be like, you know, I, I, I used to, I, I couldn't like, you know, connect it all together as well as, as I could now, you know, so he's had me do that a lot. Although the Ontario native is gone, his spirit and contributions to the sport of mixed martial arts remain intact. Sean Tompkins left behind a legacy that will never be forgotten. The one beautiful thing I think that is great about Team Tompkins and people on the outside looking in see it is that we are a family. You know, we support each other. We're brothers, sisters, you know, big brothers, and, and we help each other out. Uh, one thing I always tell my guys, you know, every week is let's not just protect each other inside the gym. Let's protect each other outside the gym.